Does Sela make concrete slippery? Well, concrete itself does have a texture to it, or should have a texture to it, and have some inherent slip resistance. However, if it's smoothed out, if it's polished, or if you seal it with a sealer that fills in those highs and lows in that concrete, then you're gonna make it slippery. And in particular, slippery when wet. So you wanna use a sealer if you can that doesn't change the surface characteristics. So one option is to use a penetrating sealer, something like our Pen 50 or our Pen 55, um, or even the Premium, which has a very stain resistant sealer. So not only do you get stain resistance, but you also uh, avoid changing the characteristics of the concrete significantly. When we do our tests, we do see that penetrating sealers stop the water, stop the moisture from getting into the concrete, but it will leave puddles on the top that, again, make the surface uh, more slippery or more prone to slippery, slipperiness. So the uh, other option is to use a topical sealer that has an additive in it that will increase the texture of the concrete at a microscopic level. And you can add uh, a product like Cover Grip into your sealer and maintain that slip resistance. Adding the cover grip uh, will provide a path for the water. So instead of you just aquaplaning across the surface when you walk or drive on it, it gives a path for the concrete to go. Gives some highs and lows to that concrete. Um, having that texture though does make it harder to clean. It's not going to be as easy to mop the floor and clean the floor as if it was smooth. So there's always a trade-off when you add additive into a concrete sealer. A concrete sealer. Uh, it makes it less slippery provides this slip resistant, but it will be harder to maintain. Mm -hmm.